Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 73. For the episode head, certainly going to be heading back to do some solo raids and also going to be doing some Slayer as the new Fremnit quest is being released this week. And I want to try and get a Basilisk task after doing the quest for the uh, Nate's Not upgrade. I'm also <laughs> currently waiting on a wood cutting level once I've got this next redwood that will be level 91. There we go, that took a little while. 91 wood cutting redwoods are obviously really good AFK, so I'll probably be using these now that I've uh, finished rune crafting for the time being. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So as mentioned, I am going to be doing a bit of Slayer this episode. I've just managed to pick up a Vorkath boss task, and I went for the maximum of 35, so I'm going to do a bit of Vorkath with the Dragon Hunter Lance and see if I can get anything nice. And there we go, that is the Vorkath task completed. I'll get the loot up on the screen in just a moment. I really enjoy these tasks, I have to say. I, I mean, you don't really need a task to come and do it because I'm not using the Slayer Helmet, it's just the Salve Amulet. Um, but the melee method's pretty good. I'll definitely be very happy once I've got the Dragon Hunter Crossbow and Rigor because that combined with Void and the Salve Amulet just tears through Vorkath. And um, yeah, it could be an interesting way to get bones for 99 Prayer for sure. That is my fifth jar of dirt in under 3,000 kills. I've got one in the house and three in the bank at the moment, so that's going to be the fourth one to put in the bank. Pretty ridiculous. I think it's a one in 1k drop, so I probably would have only expected to have had three at this stage. Well, that is the Fremnik XLs quest completed. Did it on the first day without a guide and pretty enjoyable, I have to say, not too long and actually fairly easy. So I'm gonna go and try and get a Basilisk task now and go and kill the Basilisk Knights and see if I can get the upgrade for the Natus Not Helm. Man, I am a little bit unlucky with these Drake's Claw. I just want the two so that I can make the Devout Boots with my Holy Sandals, but that is actually my third claw and obviously the boots of brimstone don't really have any use for me because I have the elite diary completed but there we go it's nearly worth one mil so it's good for the bank value at least right that took longer to get than I had anticipated 217 basilisks I'm really not sure what the drop rate on the jaw is I'm hoping I might be able to get it in this task I've used a lot of slayer points I was at around 2200 so it would be very nice to get the drop on this task but we shall see fingers crossed it's very busy in that dungeon at the moment all right well that is the task complete i ended up using slaughter bracelets so it was actually around 280 kills in the end hoping i can get another one from duradel pretty quickly jagex have just announced on twitter that are actually gonna try and make these a little bit more difficult to kill next week so it would be good to try and get the jaw sooner rather than later so let's see what we can do well, thankfully that only took a few more skips, so 229 Basilisks. I will use the Slaughter Bracelets again, and that'll probably be another 275 kills. I don't really know what the drop rate on the jaw is. I've got a feeling it will be 1 in 512, so this will take me up to that. Um, fingers crossed we can get the jaw this task. Hey, there we go. Was starting to worry that I wouldn't get that, but there is the jaw, so I'll go ahead and attach this to the Nathan's Not Helm. And I think I'll probably just cancel this task and cancel the unlock from Duradel because I don't really see myself coming back. Pretty pleased to get that. And let's see what my final KC was as well. 510. So if that is a 1 in 512 drop rate, it's pretty much bang on. Okay, so I had to speak to Olaf and I should now be able to upgrade my Nata's Knot. And we've got the face guard now, which is just a straight buff. And... Um, yeah, that's going to be useful for raids and stuff. Ooh, Master Clue. Hopefully can complete this one. Alright, managed to complete the Master Clue. What can we get? Oh, uh, 31 Masters done, 100k reward. That may be one of the worst Master Clues I've ever done. Another Carol's Coif. Interesting. Um, I got a Barrow's Task from Duradel, so I thought I'd just go for the maximum and do the six chests. <laughs> yeah, odd. Well, the head phase has been pretty rough, but otherwise this has been a decent ohm for me. I was trying out the 3 to 1 method, 
with the Dragon Hunter Lance as opposed to the 1 to 0 method that I've been using previously, and it's gone fairly well. I only ended up using just over two staminas. Um, I dipped into the bruise on the floor more than I would have hoped, but that was more to do with the head phase, which I need to perfect. But that's pretty encouraging, actually. If I can get the 3 to 1 method down, that will speed up my kills. I actually forgot to record the loot from the last raid, but I did get an elite clue. What can we get? Not much at all, some planks for construction, otherwise pretty underwhelming. Another good ohm, pretty pleased with that one. 48 minutes, 25k points. Can we get a clue or anything? Ah, torn for air scroll, I'll take that. And there is another woodcutting level, 92, officially halfway to 99. Ooh, what is that? Berserker necklace ornament kit. I don't know why I got excited for that because I don't even have a Berserker necklace and I don't think I ever plan on getting one, but that's pretty cool. It's a unique at least. Just hit 3000 KC at Kraken, which is a pretty decent milestone. I do quite like these tasks because of the Sandfew serums, which I use for Zami and also for DKs occasionally. And I do want one more Kraken tentacle so that I can upgrade the Trident. I'm not sure if I'll continue with Kraken once I do have the upgraded Trident, but it's a pretty chill task to do from time to time. Got two clue scrolls from woodcutting, an easy and an elite. Can we get anything good? No. And a Hasidious Scarf. I mean, the value of that's not very good, but I'm pretty sure that's a unique, so I'll take it. Ooh, Master Clue. Let's see if we can do this one. All right, managed to complete the Master Clue. What can we get? Ah, that's not too bad, actually. Rune bars, a U seed, 328k overall, 32 masters complete. I'll take it. First DK's task in a long while, picking up an archer's ring. I really need to start doing these a little bit more frequently. The bones are going to be very useful on my way to 99 prayer. I don't really know what my plan is for the last nine levels. I think I've got. 95 pretty much banked, but I haven't really decided if I want to do Slayer or Camp Green Dragons or what for the rest of it, but DKs are pretty good for experience. And a Berserker Ring as well, always nice to see one of those on the floor. And that is the last kill of the task, ended up getting three Seer Culls, the Berserker and the Archer's Ring. Really hoping one day I will manage to get all of the rings in one trip for the Lord of the Rings, that would be pretty cool. That one nearly got away from me, but that is 93 Woodcutting. Well, another jar of dirt coming in. That is number six on the account overall. So I'll have one in my house for the boss display and five just sitting in my bank because I don't really have much else to do with them. Kind of odd to have six of these in just over 3000 KC. That's almost double the amount you would expect to see. Got another DK's task and another archer's ring very early on in the trip. So hopefully we'll get a few more drops as well this task. There's another drop, it's a warrior ring, and that is actually only my second one ever in nearly 800 Rex KC, which is pretty ridiculous. Well, that is another warrior ring, I'll take it. Would have been better to see a berserker, and then I would have only have needed the seers to finish up the Lord of the Rings, but there we go. And that is gonna be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. It was really good to knock out the Fremling Isles quest relatively quickly after release, and getting lucky with the Basilisk jaw to make the face guard. Now that they've made the changes and seen what they've done to the Basilisk Knights, I am actually really pleased to have gotten that relatively early on and definitely before the buff. I think um, given how hard it is to get the Basilisk task in the first place and how much slower they are to kill now, I've definitely um, done myself a service there. For the next episode, I think it's just going to be more of the same, a bit of Slayer to try and get some boss tasks a bit of AFK skilling, probably get another couple of wood cutting levels which would be pretty good. Maybe even start working on some AFK mining at the Motherload Mine, we shall see. I did mention at the end of last episode about the Twisted League that is being released. That's actually now been confirmed for November so I'm starting to prepare for that and thinking about what I want to do. Still haven't 100% decided which account I'm going to use because obviously you can't play on the main game and this new league format. Um, on the same account at the same time. I do quite like the look of the new cosmetic rewards and I would quite like them on this account as well but 
I haven't made a final decision on that, so we shall see. As always, if you did enjoy the episode, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the new episodes in the series. And until next time, take care.